You know, I always turn to Google and uh, quite often to YouTube to find, to find answers to super important questions. But today, one thing I want to know is, and I couldn't find an answer, is how long does it take for red wine to freeze at minus 20 C? And so I got my nice red wine called Screw It. <laughs> and I got some premium made in China uh, plastic. What? Well, they have some nibbles over here. Uh, premium made in China uh, cups. And I got my timer. And so we're gonna put this outside. Are we gonna hide in here while checking on the experiment? And that's why I have my my coat on because it is freezing outside. Like I mentioned, it's 20 C. So we're gonna start this. Hold on, maybe stop, reset start okay we're gonna put it right here. <laughs> right here so that i don't have to go far and then we're gonna check what do you guys think maybe one minute mark 60 seconds um but yeah i just went for a walk and this is calgary alberta canada right and in the morning it was minus 33 celsius which is i think is uh, minus 20 fahrenheit and then it started gradually warming up probably uh one degree every couple of hours and so now it's only minus 20 celsius so we gained 13 degrees celsius right so it should feel like picnic but it does not because i just went for a walk and uh it felt pretty chilly, but maybe because I just have a sweatshirt and uh, and uh, and you see the steam coming out of red wine. Wow. All right, let's give it let's give it another minute. But this is super scientific experiment, and it might be the key to your survival on a desolate desolate island somewhere in subtropics because you really need to know this stuff you need to know this how long does it take for red wine to freeze in a small container at minus 20 celsius and so yeah i went uh, went uh, for a walk probably it's like 500 meters one way to the store and back and all i had was a t-shirt and this light sweater in this jacket and it felt super chilly and okay check this out so minute 55 two minutes still liquid check this out but it's definitely something is happening over there you see the <laughs> uh, because the liquid was uh, room temperature it's evaporating Okay, let's give it another minute, or rather 30 seconds. But I checked the alcohol content, which is important for this kind of an experiment. And this wine has uh, 0.135% of alcohol, which means that like 13.5% of that 750 ml bottle is uh, pure alcohol. And alcohol freezes, according to Google, just pure alcohol. If you take pure alcohol, it freezes at minus 12 F. Minus 12 F. Okay, we're approaching to a four minute mark.
still nothing. And by the way, I wanted to mention that in order to conduct this dangerous experiment, you cannot be a minor. You have to be over 21. And you have to keep that container away from small children. Very important. Five minutes. Still liquid. That's not good. Maybe I got some special wine. I think I paid 12 bucks. 12 bucks Canadian, so it is like 9 bucks US. Should not be that special. Six minutes. No change. Eight minutes. Still nothing. <laughs> Ten. Still liquid, but there's less steam, so it does get cold. <laughs> yeah, it gets colder, but still a way to go. 13 minutes, still liquid, wow, you would think that 13 minutes outside at minus 20 C should do the job, see and that's why we're doing this, we're educating people, because we're learning, you know, we're climbing new levels of, of you know, of brain power. Fifteen. <laughs> Still nothing. Okay, let's uh, increase uh, the interval. Let's wait for twenty minutes. Well, it's been, it's been twenty minutes, and no change. Still, but the steam stopped coming up well I can tell you that I'm getting very disappointed in Calgary winters Thirty minutes, no change. Forty minutes from the start of this crazy experiment, and the wine is still liquid. Well, fifty minutes. I can't believe this. Yeah, it's getting really cold to the touch, but definitely not ready to freeze yet. Well, I'll be honest with you. At 60 minutes, I draw the line. You know, if, the, <laughs> if that small container doesn't freeze in one hour at minus 20 C. I really should probably relocate too. Oh wow, look at this. Okay, hold on, hold on. Five more minutes, five more minutes. I see some promising uh, signs. Well, one hour and 50 minutes. One hour and 50 minutes. Now look at this. So it's half solid, half liquid. All right, let's leave it outside for five more minutes. 
So one hour and 10 minutes. I'm gonna stop the experiment because I believe we have a winner. Still needs like another five minutes to be completely frozen. If you are into frozen wine, specifically red wine, and you are in a hurry, I suggest you don't try Alberta for this kind of experiment because, you know, one hour, 10 minutes is not, was not even enough. So now it's more like a jelly, right? You see? Still, I think it still needs at least 10 more minutes. So basically, if you try this, count on hour 20 minutes at minus 20 C.